Now with the material selection, you will see that uh, in Vertex Pieces, we uh, create groups automatically with everything that will be uh, in the same color. So again, one little trick in um, SketchUp is to go and uh, pre-select all your different groups. Uh, for example, in this, uh, this kitchen example, uh, I have two different materials. In this case, uh, that uh, yellow and brown. So now if I click on anything that will be brown, uh, everything will be selected at the same time. Um, so everything that is flashing in red now is uh, is my selection. And I have all my different categories of uh, materials that will be popping up on the bottom of the screen. From there, you can click, for example, on cabinets, uh, and then uh, select one of uh, the different materials from there. You'll see you can use the, the wheel mouse if you want to scroll from left to right, or use uh, the scrolling bar on the bottom. From there, you can just click on uh, any, any types of materials. When you select a material, you also have an option here uh, for rotation. So as you can see on the screen, uh, it will ro rotate from one, uh, one direction to the other uh, with a five degree increment like that. Uh, if you're happy with it, you can either just uh, click again on that same material and then the menu will go out and uh, your material will be uh, saved in your project. Then uh, you can simply just go uh, and uh, go around and start selecting uh, different different materials for uh, for your project like that um, countertops I'll just go here with my countertop selections um, you will see as well like depending on what type of countertops and what type of uh, countertop material material you will be applying uh, that we try as much as possible to match the shine and finishes of uh, different products as you can see here if I move around um, all of my uh, granite tops will be uh, a little bit more glossy than if you, if I was to go with uh, a laminate top, for example. So in this case, I'll just go and try to pick something uh, that doesn't look too bad in my project, like that. Um, then uh, I can also go and uh, select everything that will be a metal, silver, uh, chrome, mirror, or whatever like that. Uh, and replace it by the textures that we have placed inside the software. So in this case, I'll just go with a, a stainless steel, like that. Um, I can also, this is uh, another little trick, uh, but as you can see, all the windows uh, in SketchUp, I always always just use the same blue uh, color, solid color in SketchUp. Uh, that makes it just uh, way easier for me when I get in spaces and go and decide to replace those uh, with an actual glass. like that and uh, as a side note if you do not um, modify your uh, glass for a solid color in SketchUp you will not be able to select any glass items in uh, sketch uh, in spaces for the moment uh, I can go uh, also then and just pick a splash like that I have different options for splashes that I can use like that I'll replace my floor with something different as well. And then my wood floor. Like that. And then um, when you uh, select different materials, you can also create new groups yourself. So for example, if I wanted to modify only those uh, upper doors right there, what I need to do is I click again um, on the door that I want to change. And what you will notice um, is that again, everything will be flashing in red. But if I click again on those doors um, a couple of times, then I'll end up selecting only one door. From there, I can uh, hold control on my keyboard, just like you would do with uh, most Windows application. So if I hold control on my keyboard and then click on the doors right next to it, it creates a different group. So from there, I could, for example, just go in and pick something different or darker or lighter. In this case, I'll just pick something like that. Um, so now uh, by doing that, it just created a new group for those items. So if I go and click again, uh, I'm only selecting those four doors now. And uh, same thing if I was to go and click on uh, the first selection um it will go and select all of my other doors again 